In this video, let's take a look at the capabilities of the GridBot on three commas. It's a powerful tool that helps you earn profits from every price move, whether the market is rising, falling, or moving sideways. It's easy to use, fully automated, and works for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. To quickly get familiar with the GridBot features, look at the top right corner of the screen. You'll find the guide button. It gives you access to short, helpful videos about the GridBot functionality. Make sure to check them out when you have a moment. And if you prefer a hands-on walkthrough, just click Take a Tour, and we'll guide you step-by-step -step through the main features of the GridBot interface. Now let's go through each bot setting together. If you need a quick start, you can use one of the ready-made strategy presets on the right side of the screen. Each one is tailored for a specific type of market condition. Let's go through them one by one. Rising is great for bullish markets. It's pre-configured to trade long. That means it aims to profit from upward price movements. It also uses a trailing up feature to follow the price as it climbs. This strategy works on a spot account, which is a lower risk environment. Stable works best when the market is moving sideways. This strategy also trades long on a spot account and focuses on earning from small price fluctuations within a narrow range. To the Moon is a more dynamic strategy designed for strong uptrends. It runs on a futures account with leverage to accelerate your gains. It trades long, and just like rising, it follows the price upward using the trailing up feature. While it offers more potential profit, keep in mind that futures trading comes with a bit more risk. Reversal is built for swing markets. It also operates on a futures account, but unlike the others, it trades in both directions. The grid is centered by default, and the bot can switch between long and short depending on how the market moves within the grid. It's flexible and powerful, ideal for users who want to profit from reversals. Falling is perfect for bearish markets. This strategy trades short on a futures account with leverage and uses trailing down to follow the price as it falls. It's made for users who want to take advantage of a downtrend while still using a fully automated system. In the pair section, you can choose the trading pair you're interested in. Right here, you'll also see the top backtest results generated by our system over the past 120 days. You can explore backtests for a specific pair or view the best performing bots across all pairs, ranked by historical profitability. If a result looks promising, you can launch that bot immediately with just a few clicks. To help you find the right opportunity faster, you can also filter pairs using different categories, including top 120-day backtests, my favorites, trading view rating, based on RSI indicator conditions, stable coins, and top by market capitalization. Use these filters to find high potential bots based on real historical data. Let's walk through the grid bot settings together and build your bot step by step. You can always start by choosing a preset or a trading pair, and the bot will automatically fill in recommended values for a quick launch. But let's explore the full configuration so you understand what each setting does. To begin, select the exchange account where your bot will run. Three commas supports multiple exchanges, including Binance, Bybit, OKX, and others. If you select a spot account, you'll have access to standard spot trading settings, simple and lower risk. But if you choose a futures account, you'll unlock extra options like leverage control, long, short, or reversal strategy selection, and margin settings. With futures, you can run the bot in long mode to profit from rising prices, short mode to profit from falling prices, or reversal mode, which allows the bot to switch between long and short automatically, depending on market conditions. Keep in mind, these features are exclusive to futures accounts and won't appear when using spot. If you already picked a pair, great. But if you change the pair, the bot will update the parameters based on recent backtest data, and you can tweak them as needed. Next, set your investment amount. This field is labeled investment for spot accounts and initial margin for futures. Remember, on a futures account, the displayed margin includes leverage. So if your margin is 100 USD, leverage is 10, and you have 10 grids, your total trading volume will be about 1,000. Now. Let's move back to the spot account and click Customize to open advanced configuration. Here you can choose between two grid types, arithmetic spacing, 
where the distance between each grid level is equal in price, or geometric, which uses equal percentage steps, ideal for pairs with wide price movement ranges. You can also set high and low prices. These define the boundaries of your grid where buy and sell orders will be placed. To choose these levels wisely, take a moment to analyze the chart on the left side of the settings. Look for recent support and resistance zones, areas where the price has previously bounced upward or reversed downward. A good starting point is to switch your chart to the four hour time frame. This helps you identify stronger, more meaningful price levels that are less likely to break during normal market noise. These zones give your bot a more reliable range to operate within. Once you've identified those levels, you can drag the grid directly on the chart to align it with support and resistance. Try to place your low price near support and your high price near resistance. This way, your bot will operate within a realistic and effective range, maximizing the chances of order execution and overall profitability. To make your grid smarter, you can enable trailing. If the market continues moving in one direction, for example, in a strong uptrend, trailing automatically removes the lowest grid line and shifts the entire grid upward, so your bot keeps following the trend and capturing more profits. There's also the expansion feature. This allows the bot to extend the grid downward when the price drops. It uses profits already earned by the bot or available free balance to add new orders which helps the bot recover faster and continue generating returns in a prolonged dip. You can also set the price at which the expansion will stop. In the options section, you can set how much the bot will use per grid level. This value controls your total allocation and helps balance order size with available funds. Here, you can choose the currency in which the bot will calculate and accumulate profit. This option is available for geometric bots on spot exchanges. If you select the base currency, the bot will track profit in the crypto asset you're trading. For example, XRP. If you choose the quote currency, like USDT, the bot will convert profits into that stable value. You can also enable a stop condition, for example, to stop the bot completely or close all open positions if the market moves too far. Finally, the max active order setting helps reduce pressure on your exchange account. Instead of placing all orders at once, the bot places them gradually which helps avoid order limits or liquidity issues on the exchange. At the bottom, you can give your bot a name. Then you can run a back test to simulate how this setup would have performed over the past 120 days. If your grid contains 50 or more lines, you can also use AI Optimize, an intelligent tool that adjusts the grid step based on market volatility, runs multiple back tests with different step sizes, and picks the version with the highest historical profit. When everything is ready, click the Start button. Before your grid bot can start trading, it may need to perform automatic balancing. This step ensures that your base and quote currency balances are properly adjusted before the bot places its first sell orders. For example, if your grid begins with sell orders at the top and the market suddenly rises, your bot will need to already hold some of the base currency to sell it at higher prices. Automatic balancing handles this. If you don't have enough base assets, the bot will automatically buy some in advance. These balancing orders are not included in your profit calculations, but you can review them anytime in the bot's logs and order history. After balancing is complete, the bot will begin placing limit orders on your exchange and your automated trading will be live.